help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He would not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we come to tell you thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. God, extend your mercy and your grace to this family now, God. You know the situations. Your heart fixed to you, a burden bearer. You know what to do when we don't know what to do, God. Take over this service, God. Let a sinner be saved. Let a backslider be reclaimed. We do these things. We'll give thy name praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We should have a music ministry by those that were asked to do so. Following that will be the acknowledgments of condolences and the reading of the obituary and resolutions. Let's say amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right, come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah, that's it. If You know, if my grandma was, you know she'd be churching, right? She was a saved woman, amen? So we're going to honor her in the name of Jesus. Everybody stand to your feet if you can stand. Come on, let's go up. Yeah. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Come on, that's it. Sing with me. See, I'm a soldier in there. Oh, I'm a soldier. If I die, let me die. Get the army. Yeah. If I die, let me die. Get the army. This is what she believed. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier in it. Everybody clap those hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. We're going to rejoice in here. Somebody clap those hands in it. Yeah. Good Pray the Lord, everybody. Pray. Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, praise the Lord. We want to worship with him. Yeah, we want to send her up in praise. Come on and clap those hands. Anybody love the Lord in here? Anybody love the Lord in here? Yeah. I give you praise, praise the Lord. Give you praise. We give you honor. Yeah. We go refire. Yes. Sit praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Sit praise the Lord, everybody. Yes, Lord. Sit praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all ready? Everybody clap those hands. We're thankful for the life of the evangelist. On this morning, we send you up in praise. We send you up in honor. We celebrate on this day. Yeah, praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, this 
what she would tell you. Pray the Lord. Oh, pray the Lord. Yeah. Somebody clap those hands in here. Somebody clap those hands in here. Somebody leave for joy. Say the Lord is good. I know you came here for a funeral, but we came here to celebrate. Amen. Because another soldier has gone in the army and ready to be with the Lord. The Bible says to be absent. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. Come on, clap those hands and celebrate. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm asking the person that's doing the acknowledgement of card telegrams and the condolence to come now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Pray. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is a home going, and I'm going to do what I was asked to do. Before I say anything, I knew Annette for a long time. And her brother-in-law, Elder Joe Harris. We go way back. <laughs> uh, my mother introduced me to him, and I thank God for the connection we had in Jesus and with food, because she could cook. She was a good cook. Amen. She was a good cook. Amen. I want to read the card that is here. In the loss of your mother, our mothers depart, but never their love and never the lessons they've taught us. Never their guidance, never their blessings, never the joys they brought us. Thinking of you as you celebrate her memory, as you mourn her loss. Prayers, thoughts are with you, Elder Raymond Lewis. Amen. And I forgot to say, giving knowledge to Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. And to the pastor of the church, thank you for letting me up here. I am Evangelist Joan Smith. I'm from Mountaintop International Word Ministries, where my pastor is Suffolk and Bishop Donnie Falk. Thus, the obituary. Evangelist Annette Lewis Harris was born on September the 1st, 1935 in Leland, Mississippi. She was educated in the Leland public school system. She accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as her savior at an early age. At the tender age of 14, she relocated with her family to Detroit, Michigan. She enjoyed the Motor City and met and married her first husband, Robert Michael Lewis I. Annette married a second time to Cornell Lee Harris. Annette was employed by the Detroit Board of Education for several years until she suffered an on-the-job in injury. She was a dedicated employee who was loved by her co-workers. Annette was also a very smart businesswoman, owning a record store and a clothing store. That sounds good to me. She could take 50 cents and make it into $1.50. She had a gigantic heart and was no pushover. Annette had impeccable taste and loved getting dressed up. She enjoyed fishing and spending an afternoon on the banks in Monroe, catching the evening dinner. All right. Annette was an excellent cook. She was known for making the best greens and macaroni and cheese. I know about them greens. I know about them. All right now. Her door was always open for anyone needing a place to stay or a meal. Annette loved her family and helped raise the children, grandchildren, and other family members who were in need. Annette was an ordained evangelist and an active member of Greater Bethlehem Temple, located in Ecorse, Michigan, <laughs> under the leadership of Bishop Anthony B. Price. She attended regularly until her health declined. Annette was preceded in death by her mother, Rosie Lee Peeple, sister Lee Diessi, two brothers, Carl Carvin and Junior Lee, and husband, Cornell Lee Harris. She leaves to cherish her memory, two sons, Anthony Riange and Robert Michael Lewis II. One daughter, one beautiful daughter, Tina Marie Lawson. Twelve grandchildren and great-grandchildren, Anthony Jr., Aaron, Armand, Darius, 
Jaden, Marcus, Robinetta, Journey, Robert III, Justin, Michaela, and Caden. A host of nieces, nephews, great nieces, great nephews, cousins, and friends. A poem from the heart. From your only daughter, from the top of my head to the sole of my feet, I will truly miss you. You have left me with the greatest gift of all, teaching me how to become a woman. You have taught me all of my life how to survive. I could always come to you with my problems. I thank the Lord for you. You were in my life forever with love, your daughter Tina. Amen, thus the obituary and the card. The family with deep appreciations would like to thank you for your many prayers, cards, and condolences, and they will be acknowledged at a later date. At this time, I'm going to ask four persons, they may be designated by the family, um, to, to come with remarks. And please keep your remarks to two minutes. If you ask to give remarks, we are not asking for a solo. We're asking for remarks. Please just contain what you are asked to do on this program. And please not exceed the two minutes and four people. Thank you. See, I'm always going to miss what I love. I'm always going to miss. I'm going to think about you. I love you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Truly, God is good, and his mercy endures forever. Praise God. We are here today. Praise God. Could be a sad occasion. Oh, hallelujah. But it's an occasion that we all going to have to meet one day. One day, praise God, they're going to roll each one of us in. So I just thank God to have known Sister Annette. Sister Annette was serving over there with us. My name is uh, Evangelist Mary War. I'm John War's wife. And she came over, she was in his church on 12th Street for, for part of the times. Sister Annette just been around a lot and has served at a lot of places, praise God. But I thank God that before the pandemic comes, she was over there serving with us, and we sure has missed her a lot because she was so creative, and she would just do things, and she could, she could look like she could make something out of nothing. You just to go in there and look and say, my God, what has happened? And Sister Annette, she could do more work sick than some of us can do well. That woman be hopping around there and her back and whatever hurting, and she just get things done. I remember we was doing, when my two men is up, just say, up. they almost up. <laughs> Praise God, when uh, we was having our church anniversary, and so Susanna was sick, but sister, one of the sister called Sister Annette and told her nobody had did no decoration. Sister Annette got up, come up to that church. I just couldn't believe how she had done transformed it. <laughs> Hallelujah, she had transformed, she had chairs decorated for us and all. She wanted to make us look good. So I just thank God and I'm so missing and I, her children I, and her grandchildren, I know y'all is really gonna miss y'all grandmama. Praise God, cause she loved them so much and she wanted to make sure that they had whatever they needed. Praise God. I was telling Sister Tina, I said, Tina, you got on such a pretty dress. I said, I didn't know you could pick out such a pretty dress. Because Sister Annette would pick her clothes. Hallelujah. I said, Mama, Mama got this. 
And I just thank God because of knowing her. But the best thing she did was to prepare for this day. Amen. And that's what we all have to be prepared because this is not the end. All of us know that. This is just, she transitioned them. That's the old body, that old house she used to live in is laying up there now. Praise God. But she gone on and she departed. And I thank God. <laughs> I, I know my time is up. At this time, we're going to receive, is this Bishop? At this time, we're going to receive uh, Bishop Anthony V. Price, the pastor of the Bethlehem Temple Church. Amen. Praise everybody. Certainly it is a blessing to be in this wonderful service, this ongoing service is for uh, the undisputed heavyweight evangelist of the world, Evangelist Annette Harris. To the pastor of this assembly, to this family, to her immediate family, personal family, Sister Annette, and to her daughter, is so many uh, uh, children and loved ones. But it's just a blessing to uh, be able to get here today. I, um, my son was supposed to uh, come and minister here today, but he got called off to work. This guy Lord Jordan was supposed to be here. He had a hospital appointment. I laid in the bed at six o'clock this morning wasn't able to move too well. My foot was swollen. And um, right now I have on uh, a flip-flop and a shoe. And um, uh, I laid there, but I began to think about uh, how faithful and how dedicated and how resentful Sister uh, Evangelist, uh, relentless uh, that she was. Um, she was uh, on point. And uh, when I began to think about those things, I, I had to get up out of bed, and my wife helped me put clothes on, and, and it may look like I'm kind of mishmack, but I did the best I could. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I did the best I could to get here today because she deserved that. Yeah, she was one of a kind. I mean, you, you hold your head up real high, hold it a little higher than you are supposed to because she was a great woman of God. Hallelujah. She loved the Lord. And she believed in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because if you didn't look out, she'll shout all around you and keep on going. Yeah. And uh, so we, we, we were blessed to have her there at New Greater Bethlehem Temple. Amen. Located in Ecorus. We were certainly blessed to have her there. And uh, Sister Netta, you, 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 you done a good job. You done a tremendous job. And looking at what I see today, this is her. Yeah, this is her. This is the way she would want it to be, just like it is today. Um, I'm, I'm going to sit down, and just, I'm going to say this. Uh, Sister Netta called from the hospital just before the, her passing, and she called me. She said, Bishop, I don't think she's going to make it. I said, put the phone by her ear, and I began to pray for her. Now, I didn't pray for the Lord to bring her back. I said, Lord, let your will be done. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. I said, let your will be done. And when I said, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, it meant, boom, she was gone. She made her call in that election, sure. So, family, God bless you all. Amen. You had a great grandmother, great woman of God. Amen. A great spokesman. And we loved her in e-chorus. Amen. That's why I'm here today. So, God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let's say amen to our bishop. At this time, her grandson, Minister Ace, is coming with music ministry. And as he comes, I'm going to ask the Paradise Funeral Home 
to now to come now for preparation. Let the church say amen. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Amen. This is my grandmother's favorite song. This is my grandmother's favorite song. I love you, Grandma. be close to you I lift my hands in praise praise is who I am I'll praise you while I can and on And now vow to praise you and do the good and the bad. Now I'll praise you or whether happy or sad. I'll praise you. Yes. In all I I do. Praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I live my hands in a I 
She will love it. Amen. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and give God some praise. Blessed are they that die in the Lord. They rest from their labor. The Bible says, for the spirit of heaviness, put on the garment of praise. How many want to praise him this morning? How many really want to praise him? Hallelujah. At this time, we will bring a great man of God, my pastor, a man that is hearing from God in this last hours with signs and wonders. I speak of Pastor Ryan Patrick Johnson, and the church said, Amen. Let's all say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Evangelist Harris is a praiser. We're going to praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord today. Hallelujah. God is still good. Even now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Elder Johnson, and thank you to this family. Thank you all so much. I've got a feeling everything is going to be all right. How many of you believe it's going to be all right today? The reason why I believe it is because my word tells me weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Praise God. This family. Thank God for you your faithfulness. This is a church family. 
And we thank God. And we thank God for this woman of God, Evangelist Harris. This spirit-filled, well-dressed, Holy Ghost yeah, yeah. woman of God. Someone full of the Holy Spirit. Someone that didn't mind praising the Lord. Thank you all so much for affording us this opportunity. Thank you, Elder Johnson and all the evangelists. Bless you all. Thank you. Uh, Aunt Sister Patty and this great man of God, we're so glad to be around these saved people. I want to talk just a little while, Philip. I want to talk just a little while. From this uh, passage of scripture the front of this says celebrating the life We do have something to celebrate today. And I want to show you in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. I want to give you some good news. I'm going to give you some good news from what Paul gave the church at Thessalonica at that time. Starting around the 13th verse, he says, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which also sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For well, this we say unto you, watch this now, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's just these words. My brothers and sisters, there was an expression, an adage years ago, 
that said sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Brother Lewis, I've come to the conclusion that this is not true. Because words have power. Have I got a witness? Words have lasting impressions. James would have us to know that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So words do mean something. But I tell you, words play a significant role because it is these words that Paul said we should find comfort in. We should find comfort in these words. Yes, there are are many words that are said for many reasons. But the reason why we should find comfort in these words is because these are words, first of all, of information. Now, all of us ought to want to be informed, is that right? Paul says, I don't want you ignorant Concerning Evangelist Harris. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to thank you, Philip. I appreciate you letting me know that. And she wouldn't want you to be ignorant concerning these words. You listen, Philip. Just be quiet and listen right now. These are words of information. He says, concerning them which are asleep. Now, they'll give you a piece of paper, daughter, that they call a death certificate. But the record is, She's not dead. She's asleep. These are words of information to help us understand, as he says, that those, if we believe, how many believers do we have today? If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, we've got to also believe in the resurrection of those that are in Jesus. See, evangelist, evangelist Harris was a saved woman of God. She didn't die. She went to sleep in Jesus. There is a difference. For those who have no hope, for those who have no belief, for those who have no faith, for those who have no future, they do die. But Evangelist Harris has not died. These are words of information. These are words of transformation. He lets us know that we who are alive and remain will not prevent the resurrection of those who are asleep in Jesus. Yeah. It is identified that those who are alive and remain at the second coming of Jesus Christ will also be transformed just like those who are asleep. 
Isn't that good news? He says that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Oh, that's good news. Somebody talked about quiet, Philip, nothing else. Thank you. Uh, he talks about the fact, somebody was talking about the fact that evangelists didn't mind shouting. Her shouting days are not over yet. <laughs> Her shouting days are to be continued. He lets us know that the Lord himself is coming. Our transportation to glory. That the dead in Christ will rise first. That means evangelist Harris is on the the first class flight. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. When the trouble of God sounds, yes, sir. when the dead in Christ rise, she'll be one of the first to see him. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that was her aim and goal in this life. Her aim and her goal was to one day see Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about for us. We work, we labor, we toil to one day see Jesus. He says, those who are alive and remain will be caught up. Caught up with them in the clouds. We'll meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. There's peace today. There's peace today. Robert, there's peace today. Tina, there's peace. There's peace today. Anthony, there's peace. Evangelist Harris. is at home, sleeping till the day of the rapture. She lived the Christian life. She walked the Christian walk. She talked the Christian talk. She exemplified her love for God. She baptized some of us. Prayed for many of us. She fed many of us. Glory to God. She taught many of us. But there's a comfort in these words. A comfort in knowing that everything is all right. Oh, hallelujah today. I think about the song they used to sing, oh, I want to see him. <laughs> Look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory. Somebody say glory. Let me lift my voice. Cares all past. Home at last, ever to rejoice. She believed that Jesus died one Friday. She believed he got up on the third day morning with all power in his hand. And everything is all right. Everything is all right. Let us pray. Our Father, thank you. For Evangelist Annette Lewis Harris. Thank you for this great woman of God. Thank you for these words to comfort us, these words of inspiration, these words of information, these words of transformation. That even though we'll shed some tears because we'll miss her. We don't have to sorrow as those who have no hope.
we can have a confidence in knowing that she's absent from the body and she's present with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Would the directors come on the streets of glory? Let me. Yes, Lord. As the musicians play that softly, I would that you would stand for the committal. I would that you would stand for the committal. We call your attention to the ceremony of the dead in as much as it had pleased Almighty God to remove from this world the soul of our sister Annette Lewis Harris. We do now commit our body to the ground from whence it came, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. We, miss, we make this committal in anticipation of the general resurrection and the life to come when mortality will put on immortality, when corruption will put on incorruption, when the trump of God will sound, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and all those who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. John says, and I heard a voice saying, right, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. Henceforth, yea, say of the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us all say amen. Directors in charge. We need three ladies, three ladies, three ladies, three ladies. Three ladies. 